No Man's Sky is one of the best examples of a game that arose from the ashes of an objectively poor launch to become a beloved favourite in the space exploration genre. Space exploration isn't exactly the most well-defined genre in gaming, but in terms of what you can do in No Man's Sky, it's one of the most versatile space simulators out there. You can travel to a near infinite number of different planets and solar systems, each of which have unique flora and fauna. As planet exploration is at the heart of gameplay in No Man's Sky, in this video we'll take a brief look at what it's like to discover and explore new planets, and where some improvements could be made to further enhance immersion. The process of discovering planets is one of the most exciting things you can do in No Man's Sky, and all you really need to do this is a decent starship. You'll have access to a limited number of systems and their associated planets initially, but as you upgrade your starship with new modules, you'll begin to visit more distant and exotic systems. One of the most common reasons for discovering new planets is to find where you can build a base, whether it be on land, in orbit, or even underwater. You can build one or more of these base types anywhere you want on a planet. To make things easier when searching for your ideal planet for a base, the Starship Scanning System allows you to scan for most planets within range with one simple click. This will reveal key information such as planet type and the kinds of resources that you can find on it. Other Starship upgrade modules allow you to quickly scan the galaxy map for solar systems that contain specific types of factions and economies as well as the level of conflict between factions that you can expect to find in the system. All of this is great for building familiarity with specific systems over time, each of which might contain particular resources that you can utilize to improve your exosuit, starship, multi-tool, and freighter technologies, not to mention further developing your base. So, the mechanics are solid, but what about the actual gameplay experience? Is it compelling enough to keep you coming back for more after exploring more than a handful of systems? To answer this question, we need to look at how the mechanics are implemented. When it comes to flying through space between planets in your starship, you can do this slowly with the base speed of your ship, or you can use the pulse drive to speed things up significantly. This allows you to choose between cruising at a leisurely pace to take in the sights of the planets, or quickly dart between them if you want to be more efficient. As you travel from planet to planet, you might encounter battles between different factions, attacks from pirates, or unique encounters which reveal aspects of gameplay, including things like derelict freighters, mysterious relics, or hitherto unknown anomalies. You'll also find plenty of asteroid fields between planets, giving you a chance to mine valuable resources from them, which you can use in crafting or upgrades. So there's plenty to do between planets and specific solar systems, and you never quite know what you might encounter, which keeps things interesting most of the time. The planets themselves are often beautiful to behold from space, with different colours, textures, outer atmospheres, and sizes for each one. You can easily see the structure of a planet's surface from orbit, giving you a good idea of where to land if you're looking for an island, a large continent, a lake, or an ocean shore where you can start building a base. The topography of planets is more of a mixed bag. There's a good variety of environments and atmospheres in different planets, but one of the biggest problems with planet exploration is that so much of the same planet can consist of flora and fauna that feel like they've been copied and pasted over the surface. This is mostly due to the reliance on procedurally generated details on planets, rather than handcrafted environments. It can be a bit jarring at times, especially on planets where the homogeneity of features is so obvious that you won't find much novelty from the same theme across an entire planet's surface. Although the types of foliage on each planet can be unique, the prevalence of the same type and the lack of diversity between different types of bushes, trees, and grasses make exploration of a planet beyond the initial point that you land feel a bit pointless. The developers have hinted at more enhancements for planets with the next world's update, and I think this will be a really important aspect of planet exploration for them to focus on. At present, the only incentive to thoroughly explore planets is to obtain more of the same resources, or find scripted encounters with alien species that are effectively the same across all planets. Planet exploration can be made much more interesting by incorporating unique encounters with species that are relevant to specific planet types. For example, paradise planets could have their own unique encounters, while hemo planets offer something else. These encounters could be anything from bustling markets on paradise planets to enormous research centers on ice planets. Anything that makes them more unique, while still fulfilling expectations of common themes. You'll still experience the same encounters in the same planet types, but you're likely to visit them infrequently enough for them to feel relatively fresh, and at least they'll no longer be the same for every planet type. Another thing I'd love to see introduced with the next Worlds update is further improvements to the weather system. The new weather effects make planets feel much more alive, but there's still a lack of diversity in weather events. Storms are the most common weather event, but they usually manifest as higher wind speeds, low visibility and rain, lasting only a couple of minutes with the same effects. It would be good to see more memorable weather events such as tornadoes, hurricanes visible from orbit, and larger waves that can reach inland, potentially causing floods as tsunamis. One of the most interesting things to contemplate about space in real life is the potential for different types of weather events which may be significantly more severe than they are here on Earth, partly due to variations in things like gravity, solar proximity, and chemical composition. Ultimately, you could say that No Man's Sky is a game of moments, in that some of your most meaningful experiences of the game are defined by a sense of wonder and awe, 
Those moments where the music, lighting, and weather effects combine to create something of a spiritual experience, offering a glimpse of what it could be like for our species to actually visit planets throughout the universe. These moments can really feel special when you're absorbed in planet exploration in No Man's Sky. The game has good foundations for retaining interest in this aspect of gameplay, but whenever I come back to it, I still can't help feeling a bit let down by the immersion mechanics and planets. We're almost eight years in since the initial release, and I think it's about time that we see this crucial element of gameplay get a bit more of the love that it deserves. I know that we shouldn't expect every planet to have unique events and encounters. That would go against the idea that most planets are probably quite barren and featureless, but I think there's enough scope here to add small features for specific planet types. In any case, let me know what you think. Do you agree that more can be done to retain interest when exploring planets, or am I missing something here? I know that No Man's Sky is one of those games that requires a bit of imagination to make the most of, but there's only so much the imagination can do to make a game come to life. I love No Man's Sky, and I do think that what the developers have done to improve the game since launch will go down as one of the most impressive success stories in game development. With that said, it doesn't hurt to dream for more, and I think there are enough people out there who have similar experiences of No Man's Sky. They just need a bit more to keep them interested. If Hello Games continue as they have with quality updates, we may yet see changes that will make No Man's Sky the best space exploration simulator for years to come.